Hello everybody, I am Jedi Jack Penguin and welcome back to another LEGO Yard Sale Haul video. So today I spent $100 on these three boxes in addition to this box over here which is a little empty because I've been taking stuff out of it and another box that I've already disposed of. So getting right into this, we have these two bins, one of which featuring Part of an architecture set. Let's see if I can get this in focus at all. There we go, a little bit in focus. We have the Trevi Fountain architecture set. I gotta clean that one up. I also have London over here, which should be complete. Same thing goes for this, and I did part out one that's upstairs already that I gotta clean out. We have parts from some city sets in addition to, I believe, the 2015 Lego Star Wars Advent Calendar, though they're very fairly incomplete. We have a lot of cool printed parts that I pulled out of this haul. Particularly, I really love this piece right here. We have like a 2004-2002 Jack Stone style Spider-Man piece. One of those 4 plus type ones. We have part of what I believe is the mini Republic attack shuttle or one of those vehicles one of those Republic vehicles, the micro-scale ones that they had as a poly bag. We have part of the Rebel Scout Trooper Battle Pack. Lots and lots of Friends and City pieces. And even another one of these purple Harry Potter roofs. Pretty cool to see that. Part of a Vulture Droid, I'm pretty sure there. Lots and lots and lots of cool stuff in here. Lots of different stickered pieces. Lots of printed pieces and also something that I thought was really cool. We have these FFBB authentic pieces. I'm just going to show both sides of this pink piece. This I don't really know too much about. If you know anything please leave it in the comments section below. I would love to hear it. But from my understanding this piece was given away with bulk lots of Lego pieces that people ordered, so so that I think is really cool that I was able to get two of them within this haul. Moving right along to some of the minifigures that I pulled out of here. These are most of the complete figures. The standouts have to include Captain Rex again, which I will very likely be selling. I'll leave my Instagram selling page in addition to my eBay down in the description below. We have a bunch of clones that I'll be keeping just for army building purposes and another Rod of the Hut that I'll probably end up getting rid of. We have a few of our Avengers minifigures. We have Iron Man. We have Thor. We have these Ultron versions of Iron Man, I'm pretty sure. We have a few Spider-Man characters and villains. We have Hawkeye right there. Doc Ock, which I'll definitely be keeping because I don't own that version. In addition to Sandman back there, I don't own him. Moving down here, we have two characters from Pirates of the Caribbean. We have Will Turner, which looks to be in Jack Sparrow's outfit. I'm not 100% sure. And we also have another character from that particular movie, which I'm pretty happy to get because I don't have him. We have the king that I'll probably end up getting rid of. We have the entire cast of The Big Bang Theory in addition to this character from The Simpsons. Pretty cool that I got all of those. Very likely we'll be selling another copy of the Big Bang Theory because I already have two. Moving down into the miscellaneous minifigure parts, we have a bunch of mini doll pieces which I've yet to know what sets they come from, though I do have a few ideas here with certain things that just need to be cleaned up. I'll probably be getting rid of those right away. We have some older classic minifigures, a few spacemen, a few townsfolk, and some knights characters in here. We have the leftovers of President Business as well as the Craggle. Very nice to get an additional Craggle accessory there. We have some horses, some dogs, some friends, animals, some different helmets and hair pieces. A lot of city parts mainly in here just because they don't really fit in with everything. We have the SpongeBob outfit which you know I'm pretty happy about because I don't have too many Spongebob characters right there. We have a lot of Atlantis pieces which I'll show more of what I have there momentarily. We have some pretty cool other clone characters and Star Wars minifigure parts like we have this Jawa body piece. 
Moving along to this side, just taking a finished look at some of the stuff that we have going on over here. We have a few different Bionicle characters, which I don't really know anything about. If you know the set numbers, please leave them in the comments below, because I'm probably not going to really look them up right away. Probably will just end up parting them out into my collection, because I have a lot of different Bionicle parts. This one I might actually keep together, because I think this one looks really cool with a lot of the golden pieces in addition to the red. This person bagged up a lot of their extra pieces, so I have a lot of those just bagged up. This, I'm going to have to figure out if it's complete, because it looks like there's more pieces to it in here. We have this construction vehicle, set number 7746. I'm pretty sure that's a pretty old set and worth something, so that's pretty cool to note. And now, as I mentioned before, with our Marvel figures, a lot of the pieces that relate to, that, to those sets are included in here. We have what looks to be... The Avengers Tower, which I'm really happy to actually get my first Avengers Tower here. Hopefully that is near or almost complete. We also have that set with Sandman and Rhino with all of those villains. We have Rhino right here, which I'm pretty sure one of the characters that we have in there is supposed to go in here. I'm not 100% sure. I also know that we have Sandman's Hammer somewhere mixed in here. And we also have another set from Avengers Age of Ultron, which included Hawkeye and this vehicle right there. Additionally, we have the Big Bang Theory set from LEGO Ideas. This I plan on cleaning up and reselling if I can. Down here, we have a few more dirty pieces. We have some stickers that I pulled out in particular from the Darth Vader's TIE Fighter set. So I'm pretty sure that these two stickers will complete my ability to actually review that set, which is really great. So look forward to that probably by the end of the year, maybe. We'll have to wait and see. We have another stickered piece. I'm not 100% sure what this goes to. Definitely need some cleaning. We have another one of those island pieces from that pirate set that I did review this year. And we also have a few more other miscellaneous parts over here in addition to another agent set that I don't own in my collection. As I said, a lot of different friends sets. A lot of those are mixed in still with those boxes in the background. But over here we also have a giant Technic thing. But it also leaves me to believe that this is based off Ultra Agents just due to the logos right there. I don't know what to think of that, but it's something that I'm going to try and piece back together just because I really like a lot of the pieces there. And, you know, might even just part it out of my collection. We'll just have to wait and see. As I said, Lego Atlantis, we have a bag full of the sets that are included in here. I'm pretty sure there are at least one or two different sets included in here, one of them being the Neptune submarine, which I also previously owned in my collection, so it's very likely I'll be able to clean this all up and then do some reviews on those sets by the end of the year or maybe next year. We'll have to wait and see. We have two Star Wars sets, which are fairly incomplete when it comes to the figures, but we have this one, which is the Geonosian Starfighter, which should have a Geonosis character in there somewhere. This I'll probably end up selling just because I already own the set and I have already reviewed it. Same goes for Plukun's Jedi Starfighter, which I might even just scrap for parts right there just because there are a few useful pieces that I can use for other sets. And lastly, that brings us to some of the more complete stuff that I've already looked through. Over here we have this 4 plus Lego City Police set, which is almost complete. I'm pretty sure it's 100% complete. I'm not, I'm, I don't remember off the top of my head. It should be complete. We have the parts to the Lego Creator Blue Beetle promo, which we actually also have the instructions for. I'm pretty sure this is only missing the surfboard piece. Otherwise, it should be 100% complete. We have two of these monthly mini builds right here of the parrots at number 40131. I have two of them, one of which I might end up reviewing by the end of the year and one of which that I'll probably end up selling. We also have another Lego City set that I parted out, which should be 100% complete. That being set number 60138. I'm just going to take a quick look at the instructions. We have a police car. We have the car that the police car is chasing. And we have a police helicopter, which also includes the Chase McCain 
figure in there, which I also previously owned from a yard sale, so that's pretty cool that I got another one. That said, I'll probably end up selling, despite it's not really worth anything. And there we go. We have from Lego Ninjago Masters of Spinjitzu, set number 70504, the Garmatron with 328 pieces and three minifigures. I got this free included with the rest of the stuff because the guy said that this was not complete, but it turns out that it was only missing the minifigures, which I previously already owned in my collection, so still very great deal. I did not own this set previously, but I got the minifigures in a yard sale haul. And bags two and three are still sealed in here, which just is really amazing. So this is something that I'm going to end up building before the end of the year. Hopefully plan on watching the Lego Ninjago movie while I build this set, just because it's been so long and I've only seen it the one time when it released in theaters. So there you have it. That is everything that I got in my $100 yard sale haul. Was it worth $100 to you? Tell me in the comments section below. It probably is worth $100 to me because I'm going to be able to sell a lot of those sets and just get my money back, which was my initial plan mostly all along when buying this because I just have way too much bulk that I still have to go through. But we'll see what happens. I do plan on doing a lot more of that come January when I'm off. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so every time I upload a new video. So yeah, that's it for now and I will see you next time. Bye!